So we come to the next section of mole concept. More emphasis here will be given on moles, molecules, and volume. You are already aware that there is a relation. One mole is six point zero two to ten to the power twenty three molecules, and this many molecules have molar mass expressed in gram. We call it as gram molar mass, and volume of twenty two point four liter at STP. Provided the substance is present as a gas. In future, if you want to avoid writing six point zero two to ten to the power twenty three, you can write on Na. Na means Avogadro's number. So one mole, right, has Avogadro number of molecules, which is gram molar mass in mass, with a volume of twenty two point four liter at STP. If the substance is present as a gas. Now every time the volume is discussed only for gas, but imagine we want to deal with volume of solids and liquids. If you want to deal with volume of solids and liquids, do we have anything? Answer is yes. We have a concept of density. Now we are all aware that volume is given by a formula, mass upon density. By using this formula, you can find out volume. So, what is the volume of fifty-four gram of aluminium? If this is the question, then how you are supposed to get volume? Answer is easy. We use a standard formula. Volume is mass upon density. Mass is fifty-four. Density is two point seven. Take care about units. This is gram. This is gram per centimeter cube. If you have taken care of units, then gram and gram unit will get cancelled. Your final answer will be in centimeter cube. And if you cancel, answer will be twenty centimeter cube. Those who know units properly, twenty centimeter cube is nothing but Also twenty mL, since one centimeter cube is equal to one mL, and we are aware one decimeter cube is one liter. So if you remember at this place you wrote twenty two point four liter, you can even write down twenty two point four. decimeter cube because liter and decimeter cube are equal in value imagine it is asked what is the volume of 18 gram of ice again the logic remains same volume is mass upon density this is gram this is gram per centimeter cube so your answer will be 20 cm cube remember this density of ice is written as 0.9 g per cm cube can be also written as 0.9 g per ml because cm cube and ml are same the next one what is the volume of 100 ml of water again not 100 It should be what is the mass of hundred mL of water? We know mass is given by the formula volume multiplied by density. Volume is hundred mL. Density is one gram per mL. So mL factor, mL factor will get cancelled. You have to take care. If this is in mL, this also should be in mL. Remember like that. So you will get hundred gram. From this relation, we realize hundred mL is nothing but hundred gram. That means every mL of water is one gram. So whatever is a number in mL, same is a number in gram. So this information that you should know, you are supposed to by heart. Density of water is one gram per mL. You should not by heart any other. substance is density but density of water has to be by hearted by the student and density of water is 1 g per cm cube or you can say 1 g per ml 
Next time when we buy a bislary bottle of 10 liter, right, not 10 liter, 1 liter. If you buy a bislary bottle of 1 liter, 1 liter is nothing but, we are aware, is 1000 ml. If it is 1000 ml, that means it is 1000 gram. 1000 gram means 1 kg. So next time when you carry 1 liter of bislary bottle with you in the bag, that means your bag weight has increased by 1 kg. Suggested for student, whenever he goes out, he carries 1 liter of bottle. That means he is carrying 1 kg extra. So, remember this is additional information you should know. For water, density which is 1 gram per centimeter cube. But if you happen to convert into kg per meter cube, it becomes 1000. That means whenever you want to convert density from gram per centimeter cube to kg per meter cube, that whatever number is there, that number has to be multiplied by 1000. You can even derive this, but for timing, remember any value of density in gram per centimeter cube, if it has to be converted to kg per meter cube, you have to multiply by a factor of 1000. Generally, density in KMS tree will be given in gram per centimeter cube or gram per ml. If it is not given, convert into a gram per centimeter cube or gram per ml. And masses in chemistry are generally expressed in grams. Generally expressed in grams. We'll write down mole concept for solids and liquids. One mole of H2O liquid, we know it's ever got a number of molecules. We know its molar mass is 18 gram. But can we write down it is 22.4 liter? Answer is no. Why you cannot write? Because it is liquid. And 22.4 liter discussion is applicable for gas. Then, how to write down volume? You can write down volume from mass. Take that mass. And divide by density. You will get volume. So what is the density of water? 1. So it is 18 ml. So now you can even write down mole concept for liquid water. 1 ml, 1 mole of water, avocado number of molecules, 18 gram. And you realize it is 18 ml. So how you got this? Volume volume factor, you got volume by using a relation mass upon density using that relation we got this volume similarly if you take one mole of aluminium solid it will have 6.02 to 10 to the power 23 molecules its atomic mass 27 because it is made up of only one atom because it is made up of one atom, so its molecular mass is atomic mass only. And what will be its volume? Will it be 22.4 liter? Answer is no, because it is solid. Then how to get volume? Take this mass and divide by density of aluminium. You will get the answer in ml because mass is in gram and generally density are written in gram per ml so your answer is 27 divided by density of aluminium density of aluminium will be given in the exam if you substitute that you will be able to get it now similarly how we tried for different solids you can go ahead and try writing mole concept for carbon solid ammonia gas methanol and acetic acid now, wherever you require density, and if you don't know the density, simply write D. Pause this video and go ahead and write down. I expect you have written it and your answer should be Na molecules. Na is a short form for Avogadro number. That's 12 gram. And that is 12 divided by density of carbon in ml. Or you can write down centimeter cube. For ammonia, it is Na molecules. And it is 17 gram because nitrogen is 14, hydrogen is 1. 
and that is 22.4 liter at stp we can write down because it is a gas similarly for methanol na molecules and that is nothing but 32 grams and that is 32 upon density of methanol ml similarly for acidic acid this many number of molecules which is equal to 60 gram which is nothing but 60 upon density of acidic acid such a type of discussion should be done because acidic acid is liquid and even for methanol is liquid with this practice we can directly go to the numericals so numericals simple numericals based on mole concept find mass of one mole two moles of hydrogen whenever such type of questions are there first write down universal mole concept one mole of hydrogen is Avogadro number of molecules which has a mass of 2 gram and occupies volume of 22.4 liter this is what we can write down because hydrogen is a gas in the exam will they give you hydrogen is a gas or liquid answer is no we as a student from our past chemistry knowledge and the current 11th standard knowledge we should know how does a substance exist after writing universal concept you should write down what is given what is given given is two moles and what they are asking they are asking mass so below mass i have put a question mark below mole i have given the given data that means now i should not bother about the other data this data i should not bother about this data i should not bother about i am not cancelling we are not going to get bothered about this that means you should be bothered about this one mole is two gram and two mole is question mark and what you should do now cross multiply and when you cross multiply you will get the answer so cross multiplication will give you the answer two multiplied by two divided by one that means four gram so answer is four gram that's the answer what next find number of moles in 8 gram of oxygen how you are supposed to solve i said first thing only all right take a substance and write down universal mole concept one mole avogadro number of molecules which is equal to 32 gram is it a gas yes 22.4 liter at stp then what next write down given that means when the numerical comes up first write down universal concept second write down what is given below moles write down moles data below molecules write down molecules data below mass write down mass data and so on they have given 8 gram so below mass we have written mass and below moles we will write down question mark now what we should do we should write down or we should be interested of only this much part other things we are not interested then cross multiply and you will get the answer by cross multiplication so what is the answer the answer is 1 multiplied by 8 divided by 32 so answer is 0.25 moles so answer is 0.25 mole that is what is the answer that we get in this case question number two from question number two or from the numerical number two we realize after getting a substance write down mole universal mole concept then write down what is given in a proper heading and then cross multiply you will get the answer such a method of cross multiplying and getting the answer is popularly known as unitary method so what we follow is unitary method we go to the next third one find number of molecule present in 6 ml of water again what we do we write down universal mole concept for water we know water is liquid one mole of water has avogadro number of molecules it has mass of how much 
18 gram and for water every gram is 1 ml so 18 gram is 18 ml we have used density concept to get this for water you have to remember it what next we will write down given 6 ml below volume i have written volume you know that you can't write 22.4 for water why because water is liquid 22.4 is written for gas and then you put question mark below molecules what next consider only this much part you should know for solving any such numerical by unitary method there should be one unknown and three data should be available if you have three data and one unknown then a unitary method you can calculate whatever you will get will be called as number of molecules so number of molecules will be na multiplied by 6 divided by 18 and if you calculate it is 1 by 3 na if your examination gives you 1 by 3a as an answer then you will put it like that or you can exactly calculate na is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 multiply and divide or sorry you will get the corresponding answer so 2.077 right 2.007 into 10 to the power 23 is the answer coming to the fourth question in a fourth question what is given methanol and it is given 20 ml and they have given density of methanol now is methanol first question is it solid liquid or gas one thing is there if they have given density and they have given volume that means it is not gas okay for your information methanol is a colorless liquid used in a compact cd cleaning liquid it is used for cleaning electronics and it is also used in white marker whiteboard markers what is the first task when they give you volume get the mass because in mole concept mass is more useful for liquids than the volume for mole concept mass is more useful for liquids and solids how to get mass volume multiplied by density volume is 20 ml and density is 0.8 gram per centimeter cube we are aware gra centimeter cube and ml are actually same so they get cancelled out so what you will get here you will get a 16 gram now what we do so what is the given mass is 16 gram then what we do now we write down mole concept for methanol methanol is a liquid so how you write down one mole of methanol is Avogadro number of molecules it has a mass of how much if you add all the atomic masses you come to know it is 32 grams okay so 32 grams this much what next given you can't write 22.4 because it is liquid given because we have already converted volume to mass we'll use that 16 gram moles they are asking molecules they are asking how you are supposed to solve two question marks what you will do first you will cross multiply this and get the answer so cross multiply this and get the answer if you cross multiply this and get the answer the answer is 0.5 moles what next how to do the next one cross multiply this if you cross multiply this you will get this as answer and what is the answer that you will get cross multiply 3.011 into 10 to the power 23 i'm not showing the cross multiplication i'm directly showing how to do it karke. you remember this so cross multiply in section and you will be able to get the answer you understood this how to do it karke? similar is question number five in which i can show you clearly more and better it is given find the volume of 
वॉल्यूम एट एस टी पी नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स प्रेजेंट इन थ्री पॉइंट फोर ग्राम ऑफ अमोनिया अमोनिया इज लिक्विड दे हैव ऑल्सो मैंशन जनरली ऑल्सो वी आर अवेयर सो वॉट वी डू वी राइट ऑन वन मोल ऑफ अमोनिया एज सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू टू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अवॉइड राइटिंग यू कैन राइट ऑन एन ए दैट मीन नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स देन दिस करस्पॉन्ड्स ऑफ हाउ मच This corresponds to seventeen gram. Is it a gas? Yes, twenty-two point four liter. What next? What is given? They'll always give. They have given three point four gram, and they are asking you volume, and they are asking you molecules. What next? You will cross multiply this. If you cross multiply this, you will get number of molecules. So first cross multiplication. I am doing so. Answer is six point zero two two into ten to the power twenty three multiplied by three point four divided by seventy. If you do that, you will get as answer as one point two zero four four into ten to the power twenty three. That's the first part. What is the next part? Then cross multiply this part. If you cross multiply this part, you will get volume. So cross multiplication is three point four into twenty two point four divided by seventeen. So it is four point four eight liters. That is the next answer. You understood this? So two question marks also can be calculated. Remember, right in the pink shaded part we have shown right there is only one question mark in cross multiplication or unitary method there should be only one question mark if you go to the next in this case also you will realize there is only one question mark this is what is the method of getting this so some more one more question question number 6 find molecular mass of a gas Which occupies fifty six mL at STP. How to do this type of question? We do like this. Let molecular mass of a gas be m. So what will be gram molecular mass? Gram molecular mass means m, and you just write on g. You have to write on g in front of that number. For water, it is eighteen. And eighteen gram, like this. What next? For that unknown gas. For unknown gas, what can we do? We can write down one mole of a gas. Is N A molecules, which is m gram, because molar mass is not given, which occupies. Two two four zero zero mL, but why I am writing like this? Because twenty two point four liter. If you convert into mL, you have to multiply by thousand factor. If you multiply by thousand factor, you will get mL. So I have written in mL. Then, but why I wrote this in mL? Because given is also in mL fifty six mL. So below volume, write down volume, and below mass, write down mass. What next I should do in this case? I should cross multiply. But there is no question mark. Yes, there is a question mark. We have written it as m. So if you cross multiply, you will get the value of m. So m will be two two four zero zero multiplied by point five divided by fifty six. If you solve, you will get the answer as two hundred. So we write down molecular mass of gas as two hundred u. You are also allowed to write down two hundred gram per mole. That's a more standard way of writing molecular mass. So two hundred gram per mole or two hundred u. There is one more approach for mole concept. One approach that we studied unitary method. Another is formula method. 
What is the formula method? You can calculate number of moles, that's N, by a formula mass of a substance. Naturally, mass of the substance should be expressed in which unit? Gram. And divide by standard mass. What is the standard mass? Gram molecular mass. Right, you know that's molecular mass expressed in grams. If you want, you can write down the same formula in a shortened version. Mass by symbol W. Molecular mass by symbol M. W stands for mass of the substance. Capital M stands for molecular mass of the substance expressed in gram. You can also calculate number of moles by another formula. That is given number of molecules divided by Avogadro number. You are aware what is Avogadro number? 6.02 to 10 to the power 23. Same formula we can write down in simplified form like this. So number of moles is given number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number. Number of moles can also be calculated by a formula. Can also be calculated by a formula. Volume of gas at STP expressed in liter divided by 22.4. You know 22.4 is standard volume of a gas at STP for one mole. Same formula can be written as N volume of a gas divided by 22.4 volume of gas should be in liter but imagine you don't write volume of gas in liter you write down volume of gas in ml if you write down in ml then instead of dividing by 22.4 divide by 22400 so same formula can be written as N is volume of gas in ML divided by 22400. That is another formula that we can write down. If you see all three formula at one place, then number of moles is always calculated by something divided by something. If your numerator is mass. Then divide by standard mass. Standard mass is gram molecular mass. If your numerator is number of molecules, then divide by standard number of molecules. That's Avogadro number. If your numerator is volume of gas, then divide by standard volume of gas. Standard volume of gas is what? 22.4. 22.4. If it is in liter, if it is in ml, divide by 22400. Now from this, can we get a formula for mass of the substance W can be given by a formula number of moles multiplied by molecular mass. Same I am writing. Mass of the substance can be given by the formula number of moles multiplied by molecular mass. You can see gram molecular mass. Substance mass should be expressed in grams naturally and molecular mass should be gram molecular mass can we get number of molecules yes by number of moles multiplied by avogadro's number so we have a formula for number of molecules as number of moles multiplied by Avogadro's number. Similarly, volume of gas can be calculated by what formula? Volume of gas can be calculated. Volume of gas at STP in liter can be calculated N multiplied by 22.4. Same volume of gas at STP can be calculated in ml by number of moles multiplied by 22400. This answer will give you volume of gas in ml. So this were all the formulas connected to moles. Formula method of moles. Once again, 
नंबर ऑफ मोल्स इज मास डिवाइडेड बाय स्टैंडर्ड मास ऑलवेज मोल्स इज रेशियो इफ यू हैव मास इन द न्यूमरेटर डिवाइड बाय ग्राम मॉलिक्यूलर मास If your numerator is number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number, if your numerator is volume of gas divided by twenty two point four, and you want mass, then what is the formula for mass? It is number of moles multiplied by molecular mass. If you want number of molecules, then take number of moles multiplied by Avogadro number. If you want volume of gas, take n number of moles and multiply by twenty two point four. then you will get volume in liter if you take number of moles and multiply by 22400 then you will get volume of gas in ml suggestion pause this video and write down all these formulas in your notebook without seeing so pause and go ahead and write it this formula i suppose all of you would have taken efforts to find out or write down all the formulas now we go to the next part mole concept number of atoms concept here the entire concern of mole concept will be applied to number of atoms for that first term what is atomicity atomicity is a number of atoms present in one molecule of a substance If you calculate all the atoms present in one molecule of a substance, it is called as atomicity. Like ammonia is made up of how many atoms? Ammonia is made up of one nitrogen and three hydrogen. So its atomicity is its atomicity is four. It is made up of four atoms, made up of one nitrogen. And three hydrogen, so its atomicity is four. Okay, coming to methane. Methane, how many atom makes up a molecule? One carbon and four hydrogen atoms. So total number of atoms are five. So you have are aware how is that methane molecule? It is central carbon surrounded by four hydrogen atoms. That's methane. atomicity if you have understood atomicity can you tell me what is the atomicity of sulfuric acid and ammonium nitrate pause this video and write down atomicity of sulfuric acid and atomicity of ammonium nitrate yes those who have solved atomicity of sulfuric acid is 7 ammonium nitrate is made up of ammonium ions and nitrate ions plus 1 minus 1 so formula is nh4no3 so if you find out its atomicity its atomicity is 9 if you count all the atoms present in it it is 9 i suppose all of you got it correct now we go to the next term specific atomicity specific atomicity in ammonia how many hydrogen atoms are present correct 3 that is called as specific atomicity of hydrogen how much nitrogen are present in one ammonia one there is only one nitrogen atom so specific atomicity of uh, right ammonia for nitrogen is 1 and what is atomicity of ammonia correct it is 4 we add all the atomicity of atoms to get the total atomicity of a molecule similarly can you write down atomicity of sulfuric acid from oxygen hydrogen sulfur's perspective can you write down Yes, atomicity of oxygen is four. Atomicity of hydrogen is two. Atomicity of sulfur in sulfuric acid is one. Total atomicity is seven. I suppose you should have got it correct. Then can you find out specific atomicity of nitrogen in following three compounds? Can you find it out?
hope you have done it atomicity of nitrogen is 2 atomicity of nitrogen in this is 3 atomicity of nitrogen in this case is 3 right for you as a student this may be a new compound hydrazine hydrazoic acid which looks like ammonia but it is not ammonia because in ammonia it is nh3 while in hydrazoic acid it is hn3 guanidine another organic compound made up of amino groups this is atomicity all this new structure it is not possible for student to know right names and structures of so many compounds so early in chemistry don't worry about such structures with event of time you will understand all such structures and you will be able to get their right various factors too now don't worry about the structures don't worry about the names relation between atomicity and number of atoms and number of molecules let us find out number of hydrogen atom in n molecules of ammonia now we are trying to find out in n molecules so what is the number of molecules of ammonia yes n one molecule of ammonia has how many hydrogen atom 3 so n molecule of ammonia will have how many hydrogen atom to do that apply unitary method cross multiply and you will get the answer as 3 multiplied by n hydrogen atoms will be present can i summarize what does n stands for can i stands for number of molecules of ammonia and what does 3 stands for it stands for specific atomicity of hydrogen so whenever you want to get number of hydrogen atom in any molecule take the specific atomicity and multiply by the number of molecules in general right whenever you want to calculate number of any specific atoms whenever you want to find out number of any specific atoms then write down specific atomicity specific atomicity and multiply by number of molecules imagine in place of number of specific atoms you want to find out number of hydrogen atom then what you will do you will multiply by specific atomicity of hydrogen we will use a symbol of specific atomicity as f if you want to say specific atomicity of hydrogen put fh so can somebody tell me what is specific atomicity of ammonia of hydrogen it is 3 what is specific atomicity of nitrogen answer is 1 in ammonia what is atomicity of ammonia correct 4 i suppose you understood so symbol f stands for atomicity fh stands for atomicity of hydrogen f stands for atomicity and n stands for specific atomicity of nitrogen if you write on simply f it is atomicity of a molecule so right whenever you want to calculate any specific atoms multiply by specific atomicity and number of molecules so can you tell me right number of oxygen atoms in hydrogen peroxide can you tell me yes what should i do i should multiply by specific atomicity of oxygen what is specific atomicity of oxygen yes you are correct it is 2 so multiply 2 with number of molecules of hydrogen peroxide you will get number of oxygen atoms similarly if somebody wants to calculate number of hydrogen atoms in hydronium ion hydronium ion is h3o plus how to get number of hydrogen atom take specific atomicity of hydrogen how much it is 3 correct and multiply by number of hydronium ions take specific atomicity of hydrogen and multiply by number of hydronium ions 
you will get number of hydrogen atoms i suppose now you would have understood what is the method of calculating number of specific atoms so can you tell me how to find number of hydrogen atoms in 10 to the power 6 hydronium ions what is the formula for number of hydrogen atoms correct that is atomicity of hydrogen multiplied by number of h3o plus ions atomicity of hydrogen is 3 number of hydronium ions is 10 to the power 6 so answer is 3 into 10 to the power 6 can student you can tell me quickly and orally number of oxygen atoms in 10 to the power 6 hydronium ions can you tell me orally yes 1 into 10 to the power 6 because atomicity of oxygen in hydronium ion is 1 can you tell me number of oxygen atoms in 10 to the power 20 molecules of ozone yes whenever you want to calculate number of oxygen atoms then the formula is atomicity of oxygen and ozone atomicity is 3 multiplied by number of ozone molecules atomicity is 3 and number of ozone molecule is given as 10 to the power 20 so answer is 3 into 10 to the power 20 that is what is the formula so if you want to generalize for carbon dioxide can i say one mole of carbon dioxide is fo gadro number of molecules and it has 44 g as a mass and occupies 22.4 liter or decimeter cube space at stp now in this number of molecules how many carbon atoms are present you have to simply multiply this by atomicity of carbon if somebody ask how many oxygen atoms are present take that number and multiply by atomicity of oxygen that is 2 if somebody ask you total number of atoms in this many number of molecules then how to calculate in this many number of molecules yes multiply by total atomicity of carbon dioxide that is multiply by 3 so now you can extend your mole concept to even writing number of atoms if you have understood this then you should be successfully able to write down mole concept for ozone and mole concept for water molecule so go ahead pause this video and write down mole concept in the manner we wrote just now for ozone and water molecule pause this video and go ahead yes i suppose you would have written one mole of ozone has an a number of molecules so it'll have how many oxygen atoms multiply by atomicity now we are doing the discussion for one mole of ozone So one mole of ozone will have how much mass? Oxygen has mass of sixteen. So three oxygen atoms will have mass of forty-eight gram. That is its gram molecular mass. Is it a gas? Yes. So it occupies twenty-two point four liter or decimeter cube at STP. so whenever you take one mole of ozone you take na molecules of ozone or 3 into na atoms of oxygen and this many atoms have a mass of 48 g 
and has a volume of 22.4 liter at stp now for water if i want to do the similar discussion for water how should i say for water if i take one mole of water it will have any molecules will have how many hydrogen atoms multiply by specific atomicity of hydrogen will have how many oxygen atom multiply by specific atomicity of oxygen will have how many total atoms multiply by specific at or not specific total atomicity of water we are taking one mole of water if you take one mole of water then it is how much grams correct it is 18 gram and it will occupy how much space 22.4 liter space is wrong because it is liquid then what is its volume take this mass and divide by density of water that much ml if you remember previous session we have to by heart density of water what is the density of water 1 that means this answer is 18 ml so can we make a new statement 18 g of liquid water is 18 ml this 18 ml of water contains how many molecules na molecules it has how many hydrogen atoms 18 ml of water 2 into na hydrogen atoms 18 ml of water has how many oxygen atoms correct 1 into na oxygen atoms 18 ml of water has how many total hydrogen not to total atoms not hydrogen total atoms correct 3 into na atoms if you have understood this please write down in a similar manner for nitrous oxide and sulfur dioxide right write down mole concept involving atoms pause this video and go ahead